Hello, hello. All the 47.1 year olds out there, I want you all to clear your mind and listen to me. This is a crucial point for you. For some undisclosed sadistic reason, experts have released a report saying that you will be at your most unhappy, your most despairing state at 47.2 years old. You will hit rock bottom. But as I always say, it's all about the mindset. So I just want to congratulate you on this feat because there is nothing worse than this. Only uphill from here. People will tell you horrible things about what's coming your way. This journey almost got here to it. So much to look forward to. Like you wouldn't need a specific reason for a health checkup. And you can shamelessly call knitting your hobby. See, I'm not being ignorant here. I can understand that, for instance, if you are 47 year old Mel B from the Spice Girls, you'd be pretty low. Firstly, because of all the characters in the Spice Girls that you could have been, you got to be Mel B. That's unfortunate. But add to that, at 47, Mel B is scraping barrels with the list celebrity shows. However, 48 year old Mel C does not need to bother. Exhibit B. Fergie, as a 47 year old, is in the doldrums, as low as the time she peed her pants on the stage. But compare that to 48 year old Barry Prince, who's upgraded to drinking his own tea and is a sustainability king. Same goes for Jimmy Fallon, 47, overrated TV show, versus Alex Jones, 48, who lost millions of dollars in a lawsuit and can still run a business and his mouth. So I'm just going to finish today's session with some advice because I believe you've still got time. So don't be afraid to try new things like lowering your standards, moving to a developing country for an extra year of happiness. Also, everything does not revolve around you. So be tough and endure it. Lastly, everyone saying happiness is U-shaped. But I say it's U-shaped. So let's get working on that mindset.